Hello, so today I'm going to tackle the coolant temperature sensor which is located under the intake manifold due to a couple of potential buyers being put off by the radiator light coming on and off all the time despite it not affecting the running. So these are the, one of these two is the sensor, the car has coolant temperature sensor 1 and 2 it's one of them, but of course, first we need to remove the intake manifold, which is quite a big job. So we need to get the airbox out of the way, and we'll get the cabin filter tray out of the way. So I'll undo the cover for the cabin filter. Behind the cabin filter, you've got four T30 torques. Remove them. this cover on the top of the block with a 10 mil and same at the back remove this part here for T25 torque screws To remove the air box, we've got two 10mm bolts here. Undo the nav sensor. Undo this Jubilee clip here. So you've got 11mm nuts to remove. We're having trouble with the upper one. So we're trying to remove this wiring for the injectors. So I'm having trouble removing the wiring harness for the injectors. So I'm lucky enough to have a bent 10 mil spanner that I'm just about able to get on the 10 mils that hold the fuel rail in position. Just enough to loosen them off. There's only four. I'll put it back. And you just want to be careful not to round the head off. So I'm pressing the spanner down. So they're all loose, we should be able to just about squeeze them out. Now removing the four 10 mil bolts holding the fuel rail in position, we've managed to give ourselves enough room to securely get on the head of the nut that we couldn't get to. So that'll be, that's all of the nuts securing the intake manifold in position, loosened. 
Remove the tube for the dipstick by undoing this 13mm bolt here. So I've removed the bolts for the power steering fluid reservoir, pulled that out of the way. I've removed this air intake valve from the manifold. So I didn't even realise you can remove this part here, give you a bit more access to view. Right, so we've managed to get the throttle body out, which is four 10 mils, and then this 10 mil nut to detach this bracket here. And it looks like all we've got now at the bottom is the nut there, which is attached to this bracket on the bottom of the manifold. So we've got a 16 mil nut at the bottom, which is hopefully going to be the last thing holding this in position. So thankfully I don't need to remove the intake manifold completely, although I'm going to have a lot of fun trying to put this back together. However, I've found the coolant temperature sensor that we're replacing. It's right at the back here. So this is the old sensor and we've got the new Delphi sensor. It didn't appear to be very tight. I don't have a torque rating for this, but I'm not going to do it too tight. It's got a compression washer for the seal.
Right, so this is where I'm going to leave the video. I'm sorry that I didn't manage to document every component removed, but I haven't found this job particularly pleasant and just wanted to get it done today. I hope it's helped somewhat, but at least you now know the location of the coolant temperature sensor and what's involved to a degree. Quite a lot considering the sensor wasn't actually causing me any problems on the car, but I needed to stop the light flashing on the dash 